Greetings everybody. It's time for another thrilling Spree of Arena videos. Because I just can't get enough of them. Well actually I can, and then I stopped doing arenas for like a month. But I'm in the mood to do them again, so I might as well capitalize on that and see if anything's worth recording. But first, we're going to have to of course make some kind of a gamble, because... The RNG gods are always pleased when you do things in their honor. Uh, and this is the equivalent of sacrifice in the Ion world, I guess. Buying something and disenchanting it. I know, mine totally blown, right? Okay, let's see. Oops, let me do that. After this, I will switch stigmas because I am in my damage setup, and then I will go and do. Well then, the gods are not pleased, but that's okay. You can always just waste a random amount of money. Seventy-seven stone. Let's throw that into a piece of armor. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna go swap stigmas and fix my buff pad and all that stuff and then go queue up, so I'll be right back. Okay, this is the second arena so far. The first one took a while to pop. This one took a pretty decent amount of time too. Might be an indicator that it's not really worth doing them right now, as it is only 3.30 in the afternoon, so... Uh, I have a gladiator. Let's use my Shugo candy that I got from Enchantment Box because... <laughs> because it's totally worth using. Uh, I have the right helmet, right? Yeah. Alright, so Mr. Gladiator. He's got a penguin candy and everything. Which means I get to use a strike resist scroll just because it's obnoxiously evil. <laughs> so let's see, 543 because of the Shugo, which of course gives 7. It's not actually totally useless because it gives you run speed and strike resist, which are pretty useful. I can use the word useful plenty of times to get the point across. Okay, 608 strike resist against the gladiator. I think that's really nice. It's really nice against anyone, but against gladiators especially because they like to get their 1k plus crit strike. Spell resist. He used the wrong one, guys, but don't tell him that. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Okay, well, he used Berserking, so I'm gonna pop this. Let's see if I can stun him once. Oh, so close. Blink for the hell of it. Okay, well, I handled that very sloppily because I was just kind of standing there and just spamming on my skills. Actually, I didn't get him much of stuns until the very end when he was already like past the point of where the stuns would be most useful, if that makes sense. Oh, the stun. In there. Enjoy that bind while I get situated for one sec. Thank you, that's better. Jesus, that's the most annoying thing ever. Just spam skills there because you don't really need to worry about <laughs> weaving when they're almost dead. I mean, sometimes I don't weave and they're about to die and then they don't die and it's like, oh, one weave would have ended them, but you know. Mistakes. I am not immune to them at all. Can't see. Can probably remove shock that? Nope, he can. Gosh, the silences. See, more silences. Remove shock. Oh, nope, he didn't remove shock. Because the mob stunned him. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just do this. You can totally pot that, but... Oh, there we go. Wonderful. 
Oh, um, guess what this mob's doing? And it still hit me. Awesome. Okay. Oh, he's landing lockdown a lot. I don't see that much. Ugh, best map in the game. Or in the arena, I should say. Let's see, flight screw. Oh, by the way, look at I used the butterfly wings because we got the temporary ones. That's very nice of uh, NCSoft to do this for us. Can't you pop? Protective Ward is such a funny skill because it's like, I can just pop that and then I can just wait and pop all my buffs and just stand there and look totally silly. Like if I didn't have Protective Ward, I obviously wouldn't be able to just face tank and they're popping everything, man. God, Lockdown. His enemy must be pretty nice because he's just landing that thing like a champion. Oh yeah? Well, you can do that all you want. I can stun you. And his Aether Hold procs and Knockdown procs don't even work in the air, so... I'm free to remove Shock liberally and without any complete um, regard for the situation. <laughs> okay, weave, weave, weave. Attack, attack, attack. Let's strike. He really can't do much. Okay, so... He's down uh, Remove Shock. Well, actually, he should have Remove Shock. He's down Berserking and UD, which are the most important things for Gladiator, of course. So let's see, auto-attack me. Oh, wasted my Hallowed Strike. What a shame. Stun lock time. Well, that arena was a little more enjoyable. Gladiators. Possibly behind Templars in terms of needing all their buffs. Well, no. A lot of classes need buffs all the time. Chen are two to an extent, but we're not as bad off, like, missing three-minute cooldowns. Because we only have two of them, so... So, time to queue up for another arena. Well, this is unexpected. So I join an arena, and the guy that I'm against doesn't join until the very last second. That tells me a lot. Oh, it's a Spearmaster. It doesn't even matter, because they're like the perfect class to be late with. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, could be worse. Okay. Uh. The more she moves away from me, the more it actually kind of helps me. Oh, and she's silenced. Okay, line of sight her down here. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so, for you who just are very confused, as am I, this person joined at the last second, like I was about to not record, and then they joined the arena, and I'm like, oh, I guess I'm doing arena now. And they came at me with the ferocity of a spirit master, as spirit masters should and do. Okay, she fear shrieked me, but I stunned her. So basically, the fear shriek didn't really happen. And 
And now, of course, I'm going to be feared. Let's see. Good old Spirit Master. Yeah, this is not going to get anywhere. Of course, me being the aggressor, always getting the pet at the very start, the Brax. Okay, she's dispelling into a bunch of nothing. Can't land any of her skills. Oh, cute. Okay, well, I'm just going to weave her. Eh, no. Not great. Man crash is more satisfying. Spirit Masters, of course, are nasty little buggers, though. I haven't even gotten most of my. Oh. Okay, she. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I can't even speak because it's like, the moment she's out, it's so hard. So hard to do anything. <laughs> so hard to speak and talk about what's going on. But basically, I'm just trying to keep her pressured the moment she starts attacking me because she has that split second of being invulnerable. Can't see. Oops, I used the wrong pot. God. I'm such a derp. Okay, insta fear. Into single fear. But she doesn't really have anything to back it up with. I mean, she can use her debuffs on me. It's nice and all, but it's not going to kill me. Yeah, I'm just Infernal Blazer. Of course, she's just spelling the crap out of me, and also just fearing me, because... It is quite painful to deal with on a Channer. I mean, it's quite painful to deal with on any class, but... Spear Masters are... No. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what happens now. I wish I had my AP up and I didn't have, um... Or didn't use the mana pot because that was a total mistake. Oh, Spirit Master. Of course, then again, when another class is getting me, like, rangers in the arena, they're like, oh, channers. Why do you not die? <laughs> it's like the circle of being eaten. They call it the food chain in some systems. Nah, unfortunately, it's not going to do much there. Oh, of course we get this map. What other map would we get other than the flight map where... Oh, God. Okay, let's see. What pet are you pulling out? Not the Earth pet yet. It's too early for that. Okay, she can't see me. It actually really favors me to do this to her, like line of sight her, and just generally be super annoying. And of course, sounds proc really helps too in terms of stopping her from doing anything to me. Oh no, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't even die to me. She died to the dots, but we'll pretend that she died to me. Okay, I'm not even going to bother using a flight scroll yet. Yep, summon that Earth Spirit. I wonder. Let's see if this works again. I did it last time. Switch foods and everything. 
I don't know if she's landing everything on me, so my magic resist isn't really working too well. So I'm just gonna like fly around here and be super annoying. <laughs> it's because I can't deal with spirit substitution, it's way too much for me. So just, I will continuously stun her. Hide in like niches like this. And of course I her more. I've learned that spirit sub in the arena can only be countered by one thing. <laughs> Just running away the entire time. No, stop it. Stop trying to fear me. And this arena is actually really good for being a total like line of sighting person. If one thing is like right about this arena. I'm just gonna pop a Theric Field. I see no reason not to use that skill right now. Sorry, my inventory is like totally... Well, can I live for 10 seconds? That's the question. It appears I can. That's nice. So I didn't resist anything, switching to magic resist. As you can see, I have uh, 2400 there, but still. SMs, ugh, god. 